Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dribble Studios channel. Today uh, I'm going to be doing another part of the RPG Scratch series. Um, but today we're going to be doing something that I should have done for the first episode, but my silly, silly small brain was like, nah, let's just ignore it, forget about it. So now I'm going to do it. Uh, it was requested by one of you guys, the viewers, uh, so I do appreciate that. I had completely forgotten about it until this point, which is the main menu. I am really, really, really silly for not including this and doing this as the first episode. Uh, so let's just get started. So the first thing we want to do is create a new backdrop. Let's go over here. Paint. Doesn't have to be a good backdrop. Well, no, obviously you want it to be a good backdrop. But what I mean is like the outline here. It doesn't have to be like smooth. Uh, now we choose what color we want it to be. Okay, so I want mine. If we look at most RPGs, so if we go like maybe look at like Skyrim or something, it's like a bit of a darker color or the Witcher shows off the game. Uh, we could do that. We could do that indeed. And uh, that is what we are going to do. So I'm just going to have like a bit of a side panel here. And then like a picture of the character here. So what I'm going to do is delete this and I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to do main menu. I'm not going to make this. Ah, this this is going to bring up some problems. Just make it uh, number four. If you make it number four, that will be fine. And now we just want to make our backdrop so I'm now gonna go quickly make my backdrop and I will see you guys once it is done okay so once you're happy with once you have made your main menu once you're happy with it uh, as you can see I have made mine look a bit like this so I've got my main character here and then the title of the game here then the play button is gonna be down here Okay, so what we want to do now is go over to the code bit here. Uh, we want to do this bit here. So when we do switch backdrop to in the backdrop code, we want to switch that to main menu. It's pretty self-explanatory. And we want to do set backdrop to four because that is the honest code for it. That is what the number is for it. As you can see there, self-explanatory. Uh, now we need to make a play button. So we want to paint a sprite. This shouldn't be too hard. We need to do do now is draw a box. I want a gray outline with brightness of sixty. That is not gray. Oh wait, that's the outline. Sorry, I am. Um, Super, super silly. I, I really need to like learn what I'm doing. This part's just the time lapse of Saxuma designing his play button. So you lot design how your play button, how you want. And I just realised that didn't make sense. I don't think, but oh well. All right, now I want black text in here because that makes it easier to see in the white. Uh, if we want play. That is the wrong text. Uh, let's go sans sheriff play. Uh, let's now put that here. Shoot. Down a bit. Uh, looks a bit squidged if you ask me, but that's fine for now. We can always go back and edit it later. We want to rename the sprite now to play. Button. So now we wanted to do a events when green flag clicked. Go to and then our lock position. For me, that is minus 165 and minus 140. And we want to do a show. We want show. And then once the sprite clicked, I did not want to add a comment on to clean it up. Uh, switch backdrop to grass mainland yep perfect 
and then we want to go to uh, events again when backdrop switches to grass mainland we want it to hide easy as pie I'm also gonna duplicate that and make it uh, main menu and then show just in case just in case so now that we've got it here you can do this click play main menu will hide and uh, our player can oh that actually scared me I just jumped holy moly anyway so now we can like go over here highlight everything made me jump again I'm just gonna stop doing that and then if we click it again it brings up the menu there are some aspects that we do want however we can we can't move our character I forgot about that we made a locking system for it last time not last time but during the character movement as you can see here absolutely beautiful uh, but we want these two our main character and our NPC one to hide so let's find these bits on the main character sprite duplicate one of them it doesn't matter as long as it has a hide one you can duplicate it and then do this main menu one so I'm just going to go do the same for the uh, NPC and this means when we click the green flag they hide and we do this they show as you can see here bam can't actually do it there we are boom perfect so that is quite a short video and it's not really short but that is how to make a nice simple main menu for the game uh, it's really 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 simple uh, you can have like your version number of the game like underneath here let's say that's pretty pretty basic um, or you can have other stuff here like a settings menu I may do another settings menu once I do like music and stuff Um, but other than that we can now click play and play our game so yeah if you did find this tutorial helpful make sure to smash that like button and smash the subscribe button it helps us out tremendously um, I will see you guys in the next scratch RPG series uh, I don't know when that's coming out um, so yeah keep like subscribe Peace.